People often dread calculating loans more than paying them off, whether it's a mortgage, a college debt or a car loan. There are so many things to consider before making a decision. Though you can't relieve all stress of your website visitors, you can certainly eliminate one, and that is the stress of loan calculations. Let's get started. Let's open Fluent Forms and create a blank form. Containers are the next thing we need to shape and design for the loan calculator. From the input fields, click containers and select two column containers. Now we will duplicate it once. Let's add a numeric field in the first container. Go to edit and set the element label as car price. Set the admin field label and placeholder. You can make this field required as well. Also, setting a minimum and maximum value for this field is possible. For now, we'll skip this. From the advanced option, set the prefix label to car price. You can even update the name attribute to car price, which will be needed later. We'll do the same for the next field by changing the label to down payment. Go to the advanced option, set the prefix label and update the name attribute to down payment. Then comes the tricky field, the interest rate. Do the same. Give the element level a new name. And from the advanced options, change the prefix to interest rate and suffix to percentage. Update name attribute to interest rate. We'll follow the same steps for the loan period field. Set the element level to loan period, maybe years, then go to the advanced option Change the prefix to loan period and suffix to years, and then set the name attribute. Now that our first four fields are ready for the calculations, you can tweak it if needed. Time to take another numeric field for the financed amount, and change element level like before. Then you need to click on the advanced options. Edit the prefix level and set the name attribute to principal. Now the most important thing. Tick the box with enable calculation. And add the following expression. Here car price and down payment are the name attributes we set before for the car price and down payment in the advanced section. Now we'll add monthly installments field. Let's drag another numeric field and change the element level to monthly payment. And from the advanced option, set the prefix to dollar and name attribute to monthly payment. Now the final calculation for the monthly payment. Add the expression carefully. Lastly, we want to show the results, right? Let's drag a two column container from the input fields at the top of the form. Then click on the plus icon and search custom. Now click on the edit icon. We'll add some text on our first custom HTML field to show the estimated payment. Let's write this expression. After dynamic, it's the name attribute of the monthly payment that we created earlier in its advanced option. You can bold the letters, change the color, and set the alignment to the center, depending on how you want to display the result. Now select custom HTML field from there for both columns. We'll do the same for the car prices. Let's write it like this. Suppose you want to show a default value for the car price field. Go to the car prices advanced field and set the default value to 0. What about the formulas? Don't worry, you'll get both the formulas in the description box. Save the form and click preview. The car loan calculator form is ready. But what about a home loan or a student loan calculation form? You can use the loan calculator form we created as a multipurpose form. 
don't forget to change the levels according to what type of loan form it is. It would be pretty weird if someone comes to calculate mortgage and finds the form is calculating car loans. Rather than eliminating stress, you'll remind them of their other stress. Change the car price level to the house price, student loan amount or something more appropriate for this scenario. And put the necessary EMI formulas. If you don't know where to find these necessary formulas, we got a gift for you in the description box. That's it for today. Don't forget to comment about what you want to see in the next video. Stick around, there are more to come, cause everything is possible with Fluent Forms. Till then, adios.